Hi, in this last portion, part three, we're going to cover a remote desktop. Um, we're going to put together everything that we've done so far. So we're going to put together the static IP that we set up, and we're going to put together the WAN, the, <laughs> the wake on LAN, and we're going to show how we combined all these things together. So this way you can remotely access your router if, God forbid, anything is is uh, going wrong with it or you want to check up some settings you want to add some settings and so on and you and to also be able to access your desktop after you set up wake on LAN, wake on LAN. okay so um, the three things we're gonna do are set up port forwarding for your remote desktop then we want to enable um, web access to the router and um, we're gonna confirm the configurations, and then uh, we're just gonna. Sh I'm gonna show you how uh, it all works together. Okay, so again, what you wanna do is is log into your uh, DDWRT, um, go into the NAT slash uh, QoS section. Once in here, go to port forwarding, add a uh, a line for a remote desktop. If you noticed right here, my uh, port is different. It's because I changed the uh, the port on the computer. Um, I'm not gonna cover this because uh, maybe some of you want to change it, some of you don't want to change it. So, if you want to change it, it's really simple. You can go into Google, look up how to change remote desktop port, and it's extremely easy. Um, if you don't want, if you want to leave it the same, the port is listed here. So, if you want to leave it, what it actually is is. 3389 um, if you're gonna do this on multiple machines leave it 3389 so this way you don't have any issues remembering uh, ports so you want to put the uh, same port on both ends make it the T the protocol TCP and uh, the address the static IP that you set for your machine enable apply settings and save and you're pretty much done on that section uh, what you want to do is um, after you put that in, you want to put in um, the port that you set up. Uh, as you can tell, um, this isn't the actual port that I set for mine. I just don't want you guys to see it. Um, so I'll put that in. Since I didn't save it, let's see if it sees that it's open. Since I didn't set it to be that port, it's going to check gonna check it's gonna see if it's open and you'll get this error if this error comes up that means it doesn't is not allowed on the uh, is not open um, if it is you'll get a success and that it can see it once you set this up you uh, you're done for remote desktop now the last thing you want to do is um, you want to set up the web access for your DDWRT so you just head over to administration Okay, from administration, you want to go to you. Ah, you want to scroll down to uh, web access and remote access. So for web access, leave the protocol HTTP, um, auto refresh three seconds, enable info site. Um, you don't have to put the password. The Mac masking, uh, leave that enabled. Then below it, go to uh, web GUI management. Click enable. Um, you can use HTTPS. Um, but I've had issues trying to connect over the internet with it, so I, and it was conflicting for me. So trial and error, like uh, like I was stating in uh, part one. Um, for me, I have it disabled. Again, this is not the port that I set for um, <clears throat> my router, but for the tutorial, I'm gonna keep using it so this way you guys can follow along. Um, then you want to enable SSH management the uh, remote port 22 and the telnet port 23 and allow any uh, remote IP address um, once these are set again apply settings save you can reboot the router it's up to you and that's it you're completely done ah, one more thing you want to make sure that you can see it if it gives you a green light you're good you're done you can go to sleep, you can go drinking, you're done. Um, now what I'm going to show you is uh, how to access it remotely. Um, what you can do is, 
to access the um, the router, um, you put in HTTP um, semicolon backslash backslash uh, DD uh, DDWRT I said before that broke it dash it dot net then semicolon the address you set it to forward slash and then you can access the uh, router okay again this is not the port so it's not gonna go through it's not gonna see it for you it will go through um, this is actually the address that it has to be set to I'll leave the um, the uh, <laughs> the tutorial that I followed from DDWRT in case uh, you feel that I'm doing it wrong but this is actually how it has to be it'll be the address semicolon then the uh, port and that'll log you right in uh, if you're at a remote location it's gonna take a few maybe a minute and then it'll get in now for remote desktop it's gonna be the same procedure except no HTTPS HTTP uh, so you're gonna be DDWRT like I set the address to be dash uh, it dot net then semicolon then the uh, address I have it at my re remote desktop is gonna try to find it and it's gonna give me an error that I can't find it but this is the steps that you'd want to take to access it uh, if you have a phone I would say try to set it up to wake up your, your PC so this way you don't have to go through logging into your router and then waking it up right now that's what I'm doing because I'm a little too lazy to set it up on my phone but see this is the error um, maybe after I finish this tutorial I'm gonna set it up on mine but um, that's it if you have any issues um, tr leave me a comment or uh, send me a message and I'll be more than willing to help you out and try to fi figure out where I may have gone wrong or where you may have missed a step but uh, it's pretty straightforward um, yeah so the only reason I'm telling you to change to change you have to change this if I didn't ca say that before because uh, depending on your ISP they block it um, Cablevision blocks 80 and 8080. They don't want you to, they block these so this way people aren't hosting their emails on it and etc. So um, change to whatever you want between 1 and 6500 and 535. And you're done. Okay? So again, if you have any issues, uh, send me a message, leave a comment. And uh, if you need me to do any tutorials or cover anything else that you have questions about, uh, let me know and I'll be more than happy to make the video. Alright.